Hi crocheters, I'm going to show you how to do a join as you go today. Whenever you do a join as you go, the motif to which you are joining will always have round 5, which is the grey round, completed. The motif which you are going to join to the completed motif will only have been crocheted up to round 4. So what you need to do is tie on your new colour, which will be the round 5 colour. I'll just make a simple knot. Make sure it's strong. Right. Now, before I start crocheting, I always lay the tail ends to the left on top of the work. So this is what you're trying to do. I then hold those so that they lie on top of the single crochet round that you did as round four. Right. So, insert your hook into the first single crochet that you're going to work. And don't look at the way I hold my hook. I tend to hold it a bit differently to other people. We start by chaining three. Going to the next, whoops. Going to the next stitch. Right. And you'll keep going until you're ready to start your first join. So how do you know when you're ready to start the join? If you have a look at the single crochet round four, there are seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whenever I plan to start joining, my last double crochet will always lie between the fourth and fifth single crochets of round four. So one, two, three, four. So I still need to make another stitch. Right, let's do that. Okay, so now we're ready to join. Do you see how I've joined the tails into the actual stitch? Which means later I don't have to sew in any tails. Okay, let's have a look. You will always join from petal apex, petal apex, which is the space over here, the chain space between the two double crochets, always join from that point to the next single crochet, uh, to the next double crochet chain double crochet space. So if you count between there, there are nine double crochets. So let's start. Your first stitch will be a slip stitch into that chain space. So it's a little hard to show in the video, but you'll insert your hook into the space that lies at the petal apex. You'll then bring your yarn round hook, draw it through. That's your slip stitch. Now you need to do the second double crochet that forms this flower petal apex over here. So let's do that. Right, so you've done your first join. Next you need to slip stitch into the next along space that you find of round five of the completed motive, which if you can see lies just to the left of it and you go into that space, not into the stitch, into the space between the double crochets. Yarn around hook and draw through, there's your second slip stitch. Yarn around hook and make the next double crochet into the next space along of round four. Right, same story. Slip stitch into the next space that you find between the double crochets of your completed motive. Yarn around hook, and draw all the way through. Continue in this manner. Do you see how I'm holding the tails in between the stitches? This means I don't have to sew in any ends later. I'm just going to draw this out so you can have a look. So that's what your work should look like at this point. You've joined flower apex to flower apex. You've started to create round five of the motive that you're joining to the completed motive. And you continue along until you get to the other chain space. Okay, so we've done the last double crochet. We now need to add a slip stitch to join to the top. Stick your yarn, uh, put your hook into the space between the two double crochets. Draw through with a slip stitch. Make a double crochet. 
slip stitch. Double crochet, slip stitch. Double crochet, into the next space, a slip stitch. Double crochet, and so you continue along. Okay, so let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, notice that you've come to the space between the fourth and fifth single crochet of round four of the motive you are holding to join. You now need to slip stitch into the chain space of the opposite motive. So slip stitch in, right. Now you can either carry on by going back into the